Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel for another new Let's Play series. My name is Willie B. Coyote, and it is officially TIME! Because today, we are celebrating the first anniversary of my YouTube channel by playing none other than Max Payne. Oh my god, I am so excited for this. Um, I've, I've been wanting to play this game for years. I've never played it before, so this is a first time, fully blind playthrough. Um... Full disclaimer before we begin, uh, again, I I literally have not played this game before. Sorry if I'm kind of ramp rambling, repeating myself a bit. I'm just so excited to play this game. Uh, before we continue, uh, let's get the self-promotion done out of the gate. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. It helps me grow and hopefully get paid as well. Also, I want to give a big shout out to all the people who've been subscribed and watching my channel so far. You guys are awesome. I love you. Thank you for getting me this far, and here's to many, many more successful years on YouTube, hopefully. And here's hoping that this is going to be the series that finally really blows my channel up. I'm really excited, and now, let's begin. Standby 1010, investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 for dispatcher, verify address. That's Acer Plaza. Repeat, Acer Plaza. Oh, something's going down. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. All right. So there's an armed raid going on of some kind. There appears to be a raid happening. Okay. They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. Hey. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex. You're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Okay, something's definitely not right here. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. But they'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Hey, something definitely ain't right here. What the hell? This is Max Payne, huh? Oh! Okay, so something's definitely not right here. Let's answer this phone. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. 
Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to... Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Okay, something's seriously not right here. Let's head upstairs. What's happening? To Michelle! Freeze! NYPD, drop it's it! coming! Get it! Got it. No. No, no. Oh, no, not the no. baby! The flesh of fallen angels! So these three guys have just broken into my house. What are they doing? No, no, no. Oh, no, God, not no, the wife, Jesus. too! Oh, baby. Oh, no. Okay, so they're not pulling any punches, just no! right out of the gate. That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. All right, here we go. Chapter one, Roscoe Street Station. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside, the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA. The only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. All right, here we are. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Okay, so here we are. This is Max Payne. The gate was locked. Alex wouldn't have set up a meeting at a closed station. Something was off. Yeah, something's not right here. Okay, something's definitely not right here. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Right. Um, so yeah, I've been really excited to play this game. All right, here we go. It is time. Yeah, uh, Max Payne is a absolute classic. It's from what I've heard. I've never played it before, but you know, this is the game that basically. Oh wait. This is the game that single-handedly put Remedy Entertainment on the map back in the 2000s. And, uh, yeah, Remedy, they they kind of cemented themselves as, like, uh, a game developer who not only has great story, but also has uh, great gameplay as well. Particularly in the Max Payne games, like, uh, not getting through there. So I'm going this way then. Um, through here. Hey. Shotgun. That's handy. Thank you. 
I guess security you panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. Guess I'm going this way. Did you hear something? Nah, I did. Hold it. Ah! Boom shakalaka. Oh no! And that's the first death because the guy shot me in the back with a shotgun. Skill issue. Uh, why do I get the feeling that that's going to be a pretty common thing over this coming Let's Play series? In the business, we call this foreshadowing. And here we are, back where we left off. Swerve what around this hell? corner here, take this guy down. The security panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. All right, Shit gotta find the right code. Take it easy. And I actually didn't die that time around. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, I'm, notice how I'm quick saving While there. looking for Alex, I had ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. I would have to find another way to get to the tunnel. Yeah, I'm probably about to die because uh, I'm an idiot like that, but uh... Hmm, huh. I wonder. The power to the rail had been cut. I'd have to get it back on to get the train moving. Kiss it goodbye, hey. ah! And boom shakalaka. You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. All right, let's roll. Gotta take this guy to the control room upstairs. Home free. This way. What the hell? Oh no, he's down! Here we go! Uh, he's running for it, Jimmy. And I'm dead! Great. And we're back. Let this be a reminder to always quick save when you're playing older games like this. So, through here. Take out that guy, take out that guy. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. Okay. Let's uh, take all their ammo. I gotta find some painkillers sooner or later if I'm, I wanna survive this. Here, let's quick save again. Here we are. Ah, ha! Here we are, painkillers. The pills would ease the pain. Alright, let's hit that. Power should be coming back on, so we go back the way we came, go back to that yellow train, and hopefully get the door open. But, uh, yeah, I've been... I've been so the looking forward to... Like a Christmas tree. Power was back on. I've really got to learn when to speak and when not to speak during these sequences because dialogue just kind of shows up out of nowhere for me when I'm playing this. All right, here we go. Let's open a door. <laughs> open up, add up. So much for being subtle. Oh, that's one way of doing it, I guess. And there's guys coming. All right. The main thing about Max Payne is just to, from what I've seen so far, is basically just just keep moving. You know, try not to stay in one place for too long. 
See, I got dual Berettas, I've got a pump shotgun, and I got a Desert Eagle. Pretty decently sized arsenal so far. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. Okay. One way or the other, I was gonna find out. Alright. Let's go find out. Quick save, so I don't have to start over again. Bullet time! Uh, thanks to the Matrix, bullet time became really popular in games. Uh, and Max Payne was kind of the first game to, like, really do that. Up. And he's fallen back first into a sewer. Let's switch back to the pump shotgun here because I'm running low on ammo for the Berettas. Okay. I'm actually hoping to do a cosplay of Max Payne for Halloween this year. I think that'd be fun. Uh, did I just say bound? Why did I just say bound? What did he say? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, Max. Alright. Okay. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Alright, uh and now I've got a sawed off shotgun. Okay, something big's going on here. These guys are doing a bank job. Look at that. It's like the Italian job or something, you know? Just blow the safe open or whatever. So that's not really good comparison because the Italian job didn't actually have guns in it all that much. To be honest. Like, uh. Here, let's quick save because I don't know what the hell is behind the door. Ah. Boom! Shakalaka! Gotta love bullet time. Okay, let's uh, take their ammo. Ah, oh, phone's ringing. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. Man, Max is just having the worst luck today. Okay. Let's open up the bolts, see what we can find. The bank robber's score lay on the table. The bank right. robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Okay, so they're after some of the group called the Acer Corporation. I, I'm sure that's probably not going to be important later on. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. Grabbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. I bet you we'll probably be able to use that detonator to open up that door. So, uh, let's head back the way we came again. We'll come through here back through the hole in the vault got some painkillers too let's uh heal up quick save again put 
the detonators in place back up a little bit. Skip it up and up. And boom! Well, that's one way of opening a door. How funny would it be if there had actually been somebody standing there? Actually, no, that wouldn't be funny. That'd be horrible. Oh, hey, there's our guy. Max, Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old city. Uh, guys, there's... This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's Guys? Gig? Lupino's men? Really? Guys, there's somebody behind you. you sure know how to take a boat? Check your corners or something. No, Alex, look out. Oh no! Alex! Well, that's going to complicate things. There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty accusing stare of his eyes. Okay, so we're definitely not in a good spot right now. Oh boy. More guys coming. Okay. So, uh, we're undercover, and our one informant is dead. That's, uh, not gonna put the odds in our favor. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say! Who was it? He didn't say. And there's cops coming. I better, I better skedaddle. Ow! Bang! Thank goodness for those painkillers. Got hit by a grenade, I think. There. Ow! And here we are back where we left off. I've got to. Why do I keep getting the feeling that, uh, that me dying a lot is probably going to be a very recurring theme in this uh, let's play here? Thanks, Captain Obvious. I'm sure it definitely won't, though. Okay, uh... Looks like I got them all. You sure about that? I take that back. I did not get them all, but now I did. That's, uh... There we go. Let's pick up some more painkillers. Okay. Not going that way. So, um... Guess I gotta hit something in here. Ah, here we are. Exit gate door control. There we go. Coming out through this way. And to the streets above. And here we are. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Yeah, we're definitely not in a good spot. Okay, chapter three, playing at Bogart. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I really love the... the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. If you make that up yourselves, you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it. Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan. But don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Oh, Lupino ain't here, here but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Ah, 
Oh boy. Here we go. Why won't you guys just die already? Ow! Come on. Yeah, come on. All right. Let's try the uh, sawed off shotgun here. Ouch. Many months later. Okay, let's try this. That's one down, and that's another down. Skidoosh. A letter on the desk caught my eye. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnidi. Gagnidi was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything okay. goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. The v right. team and added security. Locked doors, lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa. A spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Alright. Hang on, I just had to check uh, to make sure that uh, how long this video was running. I don't want it to be too, too long, but you know, this is the first video of a new Let's Play, so it can be a little longer. Alright. And I'm dead again. Oh, I bet you they're definitely not going to try and break in. They're just probably going to think uh, I'm doing something else or whatever. Here goes nothing. Okay, the shotgun's probably the best weapon in the game so far. Let's uh, hit that. Nothing that way. Come down here. I'm having a really good time with this game so far. Like, uh, this is like really, really good. The story's really gripping me as well. Huh. That's gotta be some kind of Easter egg or whatever. Here represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. Okay. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. Oh boy. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Great. So, uh, I'm really enjoying this game so far. Um, sorry if this episode's been a little light on commentary. Again, this is a first-time blind playthrough. I've never played this game before. And, yeah, I'm still figuring out, like, you know, this is a more story-driven game than what I've played so far. And, uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to... How to do this, you know? Wait. Do I have to just do this? Uh, yeah. I'm stupid. Your intellect is as weak as your dollar. Failure is your destiny. You disrespect yourself and your nation. You are made of stupid. All right, here we are. We're out on the roof. Hey, something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's dead. And Boosh, 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 the mighty Boosh. All right. 
Let's check in here first. Nothing of interest. Head downstairs. Hold it. Can't take care of that guy. Nothing there. Keep moving. Previously on Lords and Ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lord. What the? My lady. Howdy, buddy. And now, an all new episode of Lords and Ladies brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. Dude, I just shot you in the head. How is that even possible? My lady. V head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. My lord, there is. Indeed, my lady. That guy's tripping out. There he is. There's been sunlight in the autumn leaves blazing like the car. Alright. my lord, not speak so. Ah, there you are. Really low on painkillers right now. Why, my love? Why? My lord, it is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak Okay, here we go. Lock comes off the door. Save progress again. And I'm dead again. There we go. Let's try and hit bullet time this way. Alright. Keep going. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse, as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. Oh boy. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. Well, that's going to complicate things, definitely. Feel sorry for that poor sap. Okay. Third floor. Got to keep going. Around here. And bada bang, bada boom, bada bam. That's the next group of guys taken out. And more ammo for me. And I got a Molotov, so that's cool. Not that way. I found Muerte's room. Here's Muerte's room. Received a letter. Oh. Okay, let's take a look at the letter. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw -up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. And we need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Okay. Grab some of those. And I think this is probably as good a spot as any to end this first video. I am really, really, really enjoying this game so far. I really, really like it. And I'm so excited to keep playing this and see how the story's going to unfold. Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, be sure to leave a like and comment. And for all you people who are new here, potentially new here, consider leaving a subscribe to the channel. And turn on the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Uh, I've been Willie B. Coyote, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!